Right, good morning and welcome to Moving In With... Dot, 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 Liam. The final countdown. <laughs> <laughs> right, Liam, what time did you wake up this morning? 20 to 6 again. Honestly, today felt like Christmas Day, guys. It was so exciting. It was like, ah, it's weighing day. And yeah, he was up before six o'clock. I was up at five. Uh, I know a lot of you guys probably drinking, having a great time last yeah. night, literally waking up right now. So if you're waking up right now, welcome. Hi, Jane. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Kay. Welcome to our live weigh-in this morning. Uh, we're just going to give it a couple of minutes to get everybody on, guys, and then we are going to do the live weigh-in. I'm just going to show you three important lists that I have made, Liam, uh, which are going on his fridge. Uh, the first one is... Small round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Liam's got a new job, guys. Woo! So Liam's new job from today is to lose weight, guys. So this is his job description. So this is the job description that I've made for Liam. That is to wake up at 7.45 a.m. and drink water. Yeah. Okay? He's agreed to all this, guys. He will be signing this in a couple of minutes. Uh, everyone's saying good luck, Liam. Uh, morning, says Mandy. Morning, says uh, Tina. Claps from Trace. Hi, Lisa. Mm -hmm. So 7.45 is waking up. 8 a.m. is going to do my live workout. So he's going to exercise at 8 a.m. You don't need to shower. You don't need to get dressed. You can do it naked if you like. You won't be needing to open <laughs> the curtains like I've been doing this morning. Um, if you want to do it in your bedroom, do it in your bedroom. Okay. Then 8.30... After the workout, which is normally only four minutes, guys, unless we're doing the yeah. steps, you can have a shower, brush your teeth, yeah. okay? Then it's breakfast time, so 8 a.m. is going to have a big breakfast. Now, I've on purposely put there, big breakfast. Yeah. So I want you to really fill yourself up and be satisfied. Uh, next up, uh, 10 a.m., short walk outdoors. Uh, after that, medium dinner, so 12 noon, medium-sized dinner. So not a small one, but not as big yeah. as breakfast. So like a medium-sized dinner. 2 p.m., if you didn't manage the walk at 10, do it at 2 p.m. So there's two windows there of opportunity. Now, the reason he's going outdoor, guys, is for the benefits of vitamin D. So we all know vitamin D especially helps if you've got anxiety, if you've got uh, depression, any sort of mental health issues. Going outdoors, you will absorb the vitamin D into your skin. Now, if you go outdoors, especially around the 12 o'clock, so this is why I've put the outdoor uh, at 10 or at 2 p.m., so it's around that midday area. Even if it's cloudy, as long as that daylight touches your skin, um, the vitamin D will be absorbed into your skin and therefore you will just feel better. So even if he doesn't feel like walking a lot, there's a little bus stop down the road with a seat on, so he's just going to sit there for a couple of minutes and come back. His friend might be lending a little dog, so he will have his favourite <laughs> doggy to walk, which will be even better. Morning, Chels. Morning, Linda. Um, so that's the walking. Uh, and then 5pm, a small tea. And then I've left it completely blank, guys, because this is the danger zone. Yeah. When he starts socialising, like all of us, guys, if we go out, meet our friends, we drink, we eat, we drink more, we stay up late. So this is the danger zone. So yeah. this is where I'm a little bit unclear what the plan is going to be, OK? Got to figure that one but out. But as long as he does this bit, I hope he's going to just fall asleep. Because <laughs> what I've written here is from 10pm sleep... But if he wants to sleep any time before, after sunset, it's fine. So in the winter, obviously the sunset's about 5pm. If you slept at 5pm, if you're really tired, believe it or not, you could sleep until 6am yeah. the next day. And a lot of my slimmers do that. I do that when I'm really tired as well, guys. So this is the plan now. Uh, as I said, this is Liam's job description for those of you just joining us. And on a weekly basis, on a Wednesday, he's coming to my aqua. On a Friday, he's going to Monica's mum's. Uh, and on Friday evening, he does Gears, which is the homeless charity. Jamie is saying, hey, I'm, I've just jumped on the bike so I can walk. Oh, he's just <laughs> jumped off the bike. Right. Bless. Great. Thank you, Jamie. Right, we are going to do the weigh in. And then after that, we're going to talk about the shopping list because we're going to Aldi. Uh, and Liam's also having a treat day today, guys. Woo! Thank God for that. <laughs> so, uh, last time when we weighed, guys, 
Liam was 135 kilos. So 135 kilos. He is now going to get on the scales, which are down here. Okay. Well, that can't be right. So he is now 132.2. So yes, throughout the week, guys, we have been doing secret weigh-ins. So, yeah, no, on Friday morning, I weighed him, and he'd actually lost nine pounds. Right. So that is the one that I am going to take, guys, and I'm really happy <laughs> with that. I know we said we were trying to lose a stone. It's not always possible. Uh, the reason I think that he didn't lose the stone like I predicted is... Actually, he's been eating a lot of protein and he's been doing keto quite a lot. So the keto diet that we've put him on this week, clean keto, um, he hasn't got the huge weight loss that you get when you first start keto because he's sort of been on keto before. But losing nine pounds in, it's actually Hello, six really. days. That's good. How do you feel about I'm that? Happy with that. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, and for those of you who are wondering why I moved in in the first place, guys, it was actually to sort his sleep out. And as yeah. you guys know, he's been sleeping sometimes <laughs> at 9.15. He's definitely been getting up early as well. So yeah. this is why, this was the whole reason I moved in, not actually to lose weight. It was just to get him into a good lifestyle. Yeah. So nine pounds is the amount lost, guys, this week. I am really, really happy with that. Uh, as I said, it was six pounds. Now, how did he look, do it? What have we been eating? So this is going on his fridge and this is the keto yes. So all these foods uh, Liam has been eating and will be eating. So salmon, prawns, liver, belly pork, streaky bacon, not back bacon, steak, ribeye or rump. So those are the fatty, tasty cuts. Mince, 20%, also known as the cheapest one. <laughs> Uh, ham, eggs, butter, double cream, cheddar cheese, Edam cheese, asparagus, cauliflower, mushrooms, spinach, broccoli, cabbage, cucumber, watercress, mayonnaise, mayonnaise, yes, full fat mayonnaise, berries, artificial sweetener, decaf coffee, decaf tea and fizzy diet drinks. Right, let me just catch up on the comments. Uh, Tina's staying, still nearly half a stone. Uh, take from today it's brilliant well done as i said we are going to take it from friday yeah. uh, which is nine pounds uh, sarah's saying that's brilliant trace is saying well done liam uh, phoebe my daughter is saying well done liam keep on going with your healthy habits and that's the important bit uh Thank what the you. not what the sales scale say that's true and Phoebe works for WW, by the way. Well, thank you. Big shout out to the WW Wellness Coaches. <laughs> Don't care what the scales say. <laughs> right, so now we're just going to go on to the uh, red list and I'll just talk a little bit more about dirty keto. Okay, so this is the red list. So this will knock you out of ketosis for two days. These foods are sugar, bread, pasta, rice, potatoes, fruit, not listed on here, so not including berries, milk, Meat and fish with sauces or crumbs, fruit juice, full sugar fizzy drinks and alcohol. So all of those things is um, what will throw him out of ketosis. So what we've decided on is you're going to have a treat day. Yeah. Like all my slimmers guys, I promote them and tell them all to have a day off. So what we're trying to do... He will possibly eat everything on this red list, yeah. <laughs> but as long as it's on a treat day. That's the most important thing, because he's obviously on his day off, he's not going to be in ketosis. Two days afterwards, he's not going to be in ketosis, but the other four days, he is going to be in ketosis. Therefore, he will be in ketosis more days than he's not in ketosis, therefore he will lose weight. It's confusing, but it's not. This is where we should have that noise. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> so that's the science behind it, and that's the way it works. Now, the, some of you out there will be thinking, you know, Jody is all about clean keto. The reason I'm putting um, Liam on dirty keto is, can you bring in the bottle of 7-Up free? So we all know we've got to have something sweet to keep us going. And this is one of the things that Liam loves yeah. and enjoys. 
Um, and as you said, scientifically, you can get it in keto. It's just called dirty keto. Uh, he also likes uh, a sweetness in his drinks. So we're going to put artificial sweeteners in his drinks for now. We're going to put him on the fizzy drinks um, purely because uh, I think that's the only way he's going to be able to stick to the these weed. foods and stay away from the red foods. Uh, again, for those of you thinking more about the vegetables listed, these are overground vegetables. Most of the underground vegetables, especially potato, are really high in carbs and high in GI as well. So therefore it will spike your blood sugar. But that is it. Thank you very much, yeah, Liam. You. Today yeah. is your day off. Uh, so today, I'm probably going to be cooking him a cheese omelette. Probably. Do you want it or not? I'll wait for dinner. Okay, he's going to wait for <laughs> dinner. Uh, because this this lunchtime, we are going to Cherry Tree for a carvery. What are you going to have? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> what size are you going to have? Ultimate. <laughs> Medium. So... I just want him to enjoy his day off, guys. It really, he can do anything he likes today. Uh, and as I said, it's all about doing good stuff more yeah. than doing bad stuff. That's as simple as it is. Yeah. Um, any reflections on our vision board? Anything that we did yesterday? Just thanks for everything, really. It's My pleasure. <laughs> been good. And Knackering, tiring, but worth it so much the most su surprising thing as well that liam's found is you guys want to know what he's going to do like how can we find out about <laughs> liam in the future uh he will comment on this video guys if you just yeah. search liam he's tagged in a lot of these posts so if you just search liam l y a m on facebook yeah. he, you can publicly follow him however just bear in mind that he does <laughs> share a lot of explicit stuff <laughs> So, uh, but it's all in light-hearted way, guys, yeah. and uh, you will enjoy 99% of it. <laughs> right, thank you for joining us. Yeah, My name thanks, has been guys. Jody Bunting. If you would like me to move in with you, go to the Slim Brother website, slimbrother.co.uk, and I've listed all the details on there, guys, how you can get me for a week living with you. So go to the Slim Brother website, all the details are there, what I need, what you're going to get, uh, and all the details so thank you for liam it's been great yeah. we are going to finish with a man hug guys <laughs> it doesn't mean we are getting married so for those of you who are putting those stories out there yeah thank you for joining us uh, i'll be live again this evening with fiona one of my slimmers thank you very much Cheers, liam guys. big up to the liam thanks everyone